Low content books are a very popular and easy type of book to sell on Amazon. The insides of these books are mostly blank, they're free to make, and you don't have to actually create any real content. But there's actually an even better book that you can sell that no one else is talking about on YouTube that's also very popular on Amazon and is also easy to make. And that is medium content books. These books require a little bit more work to make, but you still don't have to be a real author to create these books. And they can also also be automatically generated from start to finish using AI. Also, because they require a little bit more effort, the market for them is not as saturated, which means you'll make a lot more money when selling these types of books. I mean, there are people out there making thousands of dollars per month by selling these medium content books. And here's exactly how you can start doing it too. First, we need to identify the types of medium content books that sell best on Amazon. Because the last thing that you want to do is waste your time creating books that never actually sell. You want to only focus your time on selling books that are proven to make a lot of money on Amazon. Now, medium content books are things like coloring books, uh, activity books, and puzzle books. And you're going to focus specifically on creating coloring books because coloring books are the most lucrative medium content book that you can start selling. Plus, by using the steps in this video, you'll be able to quickly generate these types of books using AI alongside some other tools. But before we just start making random coloring books, we need to break it down even further. What types of coloring books sell the best and have the least competition? For example, if we head into Amazon and search for the term coloring book, you'll see that over 80,000 search results appear. And these are a lot of different coloring books to try and compete against. And so what you'll want to do is actually try and narrow this number down by searching for a more niched coloring book. And you can easily find other popular coloring book niches by simply clicking into the Amazon search bar, hitting the space bar and when you do this Amazon will give you a list of other color book suggestions and the only reason Amazon is giving you these suggestions in the first place is because these are other popular coloring books that people are searching for and so for example we could search for coloring books for adults and when we do this you can see that this number right here drops from 80,000 products to 60,000 and this is great because it means we're finding other popular coloring books that are in less crowded niches but let's keep Keep breaking this down even more and so I'll click back up here in the search bar hit space and another suggestion appears saying coloring books for adults relaxation and if we select that once again this number here drops even more to 30,000 results and so we can just keep doing this until we find a niche that is not crowded for example searching for coloring books for adults relaxation simple brings the search results down to 20,000 now once you found a niche that isn't crowded how do you actually know the types of coloring books that are selling and making a lot of money within that niche? Well, there's a couple of different ways to do it. The first way is by simply looking at reviews of the products. Amazon has said themselves that only around 1-2% to of people leave a review on a product that they purchase. And this means for every 100 sales, only 1-2 to people actually leave a review. And so we can take this information, look at the number of reviews a product has, and basically times that number by 100 to get a really rough estimate of the number of sales the product has gotten. For example, something like this coloring book right here has over 7,300 reviews. And if we times this number by 100, we can roughly estimate that this coloring book has sold between 730 and 369,000 times based on that 1 to 2% review number. Now, this is definitely not a perfect way of finding sales data, but at least it'll give you a rough idea of how well the product is selling or not. But if you really wanted to, you could use a tool like Jungle Scout or Helium 10 to find much more accurate sales data on a product. But these tools do cost money, and I think that our method of estimating the sales based on the reviews is more than sufficient. And by using this method, I researched and discovered three types of coloring books within this niche that are selling really well. And so now it's time to take one of these ideas and show you exactly how you can create something similar using AI to start selling these for yourself. And we'll use the flower color coloring book as the example. And so to get started, the first thing we'll do is design the cover for the book. And we'll do this using a tool called BookBolt. This tool is specifically designed to make these types of low and medium content books. And you can get to this site by clicking on the link down below in the description or the pinned comment. Once on the site, you'll click right here on start your free three day trial, register a new account and log in. And once logged in, you'll need to create a new project. And you can do this by clicking on research 
and then create and then click on book bolt studio and so i'll keep this simple and name this coloring book and then we have the option to change the trim size the actual size of the book and so i'll choose eight and a half by 11 as that's the most common size for coloring books and we're just going to keep the interior pages blank for now because we're going to use ai to add the actual designs to the interior pages later but from here you'll have the option to choose the number of pages that your book will have generally speaking it's best to keep medium content books short around 100 pages or less. Not only is this more appealing to customers, but this will also help to reduce the printing costs and increase your profit. And so for this example, I'll make the book 100 pages. After that, you'll hit create project and then you're brought to this page here where you'll begin making the cover and interior pages of your book. Now you'll see here that you have two different sides. The one on the right is the cover of the book and the one on the left is the back of the book. So let's get started by creating the cover of the book first. Now, when you're creating the cover, it's a good idea to take a look at books that are already selling really well on Amazon and drawing inspiration from those book covers. And so going back to the three book examples from earlier, I'm gonna draw inspiration from this one. And in order to make this cover, we're gonna use AI and specifically a tool called Midjourney. So the first thing I'll do is simply save this image from the Amazon listing, because then you'll take this image into Midjourney and then ask the AI to describe this image for you by typing typing in slash describe, selecting image, and then uploading that image. After a few seconds, the AI comes up with a few different descriptions, at which point we can click right here on Imagine All, and the AI will create 16 different book covers for you. Now, you can either choose one of the book covers that already has the words on it, or choose one without the words, and then use BookBolt to add the words in later. It's up to you. But you can see that with the help of AI, we came up with this incredible book cover in maybe 30 seconds or less. And so, I'll simply add this cover to my book within book bolt and then for the back of the book we'll just do something similar to this seller here and show examples of coloring pages within the book and so for now we're just going to hold off on creating the back of the book until we've got the interior pages finished and that brings us to the next step which is designing the interior pages and we're going to use ai to create the coloring book pages in a fraction of the time that it would take you if you were making the pages by hand and to do this we'll head back into to mid journey. So down here, I'll just type in forward slash imagine. And this right here is where you'll type in the prompt, which the AI will use to create the coloring book pages. Now remember, okay, we're creating a coloring book. And so we wanna make sure that we include keywords within the prompt that will help the AI understand exactly what we want. One way to do this is by heading into Mid Journey's explore page and searching for coloring page. And when we do this, we can see all of the different coloring pages that the AI has generated in the past. And if we click on any of these images, you can see the exact prompt that was used to create it. And if you click on a few of these images, you'll notice keywords like black and white, line drawing and coloring page are all keywords that are used to get the AI to make actual coloring pages. And so you'll just make sure to include these keywords within your prompts to make sure that the AI creates actual coloring pages. Back in mid journey now, and for the prompt, I'll type in black and white coloring book page for adults, thick outlines, flowers. And since we're doing the coloring book in the standard eight and a half by 11 inches, we want to make sure that the aspect ratio is also specified within the prompt. And to do this, I'll click right here at the end of the prompt, add two dashes, followed by AR, and then four colon five. And this will give us the correct aspect ratio for the coloring book. After that, I'll simply hit enter. And after just a few seconds, the AI has generated these coloring pages for us. And these are very impressive. And if you wanted to, you could just keep pressing this refresh button right here, this reroll button, and the AI will just keep making new variations based on that prompt. And honestly, you could just keep doing this as many times as you wanted until after 15 to 20 minutes, you have 100 plus different coloring page designs that you can use for your book. Or perhaps you want the AI to create more specific flowers. Well, I don't know anything about flowers, but what I can do is simply head into Google, type in, give me a big list of flowers, 
and the search results will include a lot of different species of flowers. And so I could take the sunflower, for example, head back into Midjourney, keep this prompt exactly the same, except instead of this part right here saying flower, I would change it to say sunflower. And in just seconds, the AI would generate different sunflower coloring pages for me. And we could do this exact thing for any type of flower, simply changing one word in the prompt to whatever flower type you wanted to create coloring pages for. Now, once you've decided on the coloring pages that you like, you'll have to download the pages from Midjourney. And to do this, the first thing you'll need to do is upscale the images that you want to use. And so these buttons under the images can be used to edit that current an image. For example, buttons U1 to U4 will create a larger upscaled version of whatever picture you choose. And so if I click right here on U2, it'll take this second picture here and upscale it to a size big enough for the coloring book. You would then click on that image and click open in browser and then right click the image to save it to your computer. And you would just repeat this process for every coloring page that the AI creates. Now, once all of the coloring page images are downloaded, an important last step is actually going going through them to make sure that they all belong in the same coloring book. And if all of the pages within your coloring book look good, it's time to head back into BookBolt for the final book assembly. You'll simply import all of your coloring pages and then add them to each page by clicking on the image icon and then adding the image. And just like that, you're ready to export your coloring book and get it live on Amazon using Amazon KDP. Now, if you don't already have an Amazon KDP account, it's completely free to sign up for. Simply go to kdp.amazon.com and tap on join KDP. You'll then add your name, email, and password to create your account. Once that's done, head back into BookBolt, click up here on download, and choose download current project CMYK. This will separate your cover from your interior pages into two separate files, which we'll need for later on. Next, head back into your Amazon KDP account, fill out a few details like the name and payment preferences and click on save. You'll then be directed back to the home page where you'll click right here on create and then choose paperback. Now, the great thing about Amazon KDP is that you don't actually have to carry any physical inventory yourself because Amazon only prints your coloring book when a customer purchases it. And so after selecting paperback, you'll simply fill out all of the necessary details like the title, author and description for the book. And if you need help writing a title for your book that will sell, BookBolt actually has a tool that will help you pick one. Simply head over here to the research tab, click on the cloud, and BookBolt will search for the top 100 sellers in whatever category you choose. This gives us a ton of information on titles that are actually selling. You'll also want to make a note of the price range that these popular books are selling for so that you can sell yours at a competitive price. And for the book description, I'm just going to search for or other best-selling titles on Amazon within my niche, and then write a similar description for my coloring book. You also have the ability to choose up to seven tags for your listing, and this is actually a critical step for getting noticed on Amazon KDP. And BookBolt makes it easy to search for popular keywords. By clicking on the keywords button under the research tab, and then typing in coloring book, you can see exactly what's being searched for the most on Amazon and Google. And so I'll simply pick the tags with the highest search volumes and then add those tags right here. And after filling out the rest of the page, you'll want to make sure that you publish the book with the free ISBN that Amazon provides you. And at this point, you're ready to preview your coloring book. And you don't want to skip this part because you want to see exactly what your coloring book is going to look like when a customer gets it, just in case you need to make any changes. And after reviewing it, if everything looks good, you'll simply set your price. And once Amazon approves it, your coloring book will officially be live on Amazon. And keep in mind, okay, this process that we just went through can be repeated for any type of medium content book. And you don't have to just create flower coloring books. That was just the example that I gave you in this video. But coloring books, activity books, puzzle books, all of these can easily be created by using a combination of AI and BookBolt. And again, I'll leave a link down below to BookBolt so that you can sign up for a free trial and get started as soon as possible. Now, if you wanted me to make another video about a different type of medium content book, such as activity books or puzzle books, make sure that you leave a comment down below saying, yes, I want you to make a video about puzzle books or activity books or both. And if enough people comment, I'll make that video. Hey, you're amazing. I'm watching you. I believe in you. And as always, I will see you again very soon. Take care.